Hey there you guys, FlightGuy1997 here today with another installment on the Enhance Your Sim series. Today we'll be taking a look at REX4 Texture Direct and how it will make your sim look much better. Stay tuned. So here's the REX4 user interface. It's all brand new and has all the bells and whistles of a modern FS texture management platform. As with any REX product, you will want to point your REX software in the right direction. So your first step will be to click on the gear icon in the upper right corner. This page has all of the core settings and it is essential that you configure this page properly. The folder location is pretty straightforward. Just pick out your FS version and guide the path to your proper install folder and you'll be good to go. Under general settings, there's three different tick marks for weather engine, enable logging, and enable notifications. Just choose the ones that you would like and you can go on to the next one. If you have prepared V2, you can enable HDR textures. I'll be using FSX for this tutorial, so you will not be seeing those today. It is very, very important that you install a backup of all of your initial textures on the flight simulator. So you just want to press create. And if you ever have to go back and restore the initial textures, you just simply press restore and whoop de doo you have your old textures. Now the second column is a bit more based on user preference. Um, with the texture resolution, you kind of just pick, uh, there's, I believe, yeah, four different options you have the 512 1024 2048 and 4096 uh, obviously it's just really a matter of preference uh, if you'd like to have quality there's the trade-off of performance i run 1024 which is the medium setting um, just because i'm running a 1080 pixel stream so i don't want to have too high of resolution of clouds or else i would never break 25 fps with the texture compression algorithm, you can choose 32-bit or DXT5. 32-bit is a bit higher quality, uh, but obviously, like I said before, it will have a bit longer load times. So you just once again pick and choose which of these you like the most. And the last setting here is DirectX. You can choose between DirectX 9, 10, or 11. Uh, obviously, there's this nice little follow along here. Depending on your sim version, you can select certain types of DirectX. Uh, you'll want to have DirectX 10 installed, obviously, in your simulator if you're going to be running DirectX 10 uh, animations. But there's different tutorials on that, and I'll link some tutorials to the DirectX 10 upgrades for FSX in the description below. So one thing I've noticed is how much simpler this user interface is. The setup for this page here took almost no time at all, and that gives us a lot more time to look at these awesome textures that REX has prepared for us. So let's go take a look at some of those. So in a sense, here is your home base for all of your themes. Uh, there's this nice little table that's already pre-laid for all of your different themes that you create yourself. And I'll get through how you can do some really cool features with these later on in the video. Uh, one of the newer features here down below is you have this little bar here, which essentially it's the same thing. You have the clouds and effects, the sky color, sky color, sun and effects. You kind of follow along. So I'm gonna go through here and show you guys some of just the basics. Um, one of the things I'd like to point out is that these are all brand new textures from REX. They're really, really uh, quite remarkable, really. Uh, when I first uploaded all of my textures into the simulator, I was kind of amazed. Uh, there's a lot more uh, quality and effort that has gone into it. Not saying that the older textures weren't amazing, those were great, but these are just another couple notches above those. And I think you guys will really really enjoy some of the results that you get. A couple of comments. Uh, one of the things that I've noticed is you want to make sure you select a dark water texture. Um, there's a bright, medium, and dark for every single different theme. There's the clear coral, clear coral pronounced, uh, default, and you can kind of scroll through and there's different um, setups for each one. Just make sure you choose the dark variant or else you will have very, very blue water textures and you'll notice if you make the wrong choice there.
Now this is where REX4 kind of starts to take a little bit of a turn from what the older products have done. Uh, to install this into the simulator, all we have to do is save our texture. I'm gonna call this Flight Guy 1997. And it's gonna ask us if we want to install this new theme that we just created. I'm gonna press OK. And you can see there, it just loaded everything in matter of seconds really it might take you a bit longer if it's a first install but it's much much faster than any of the older or in a prior rex products where it would take upwards of five even ten minutes in some cases i'm going to press cancel because i want to show you guys okay you guys so that's really all we have to do there for the install now i want to show you a couple more features before we head over to the simulator um, and there's two of them that i'm going to show you here i'm going to quickly share this theme with the community and if we go over to the community tab uh, you can see we have flight guy 1997 uh, and the ID for that is 3408. All you have to do is go find it on the community tab, press install, and you'll have my set of textures, how I have them set up. Uh, the other thing that's really cool about this software is the weather feature. If we plug in an airport, let's say London uh, Heathrow, we'll plug in EGLL, and you can see here it pulls up the temperature, the dew point, the pressure, the visibility, all that good stuff, as well as your meter in TAF. Now this is really cool. If you press generate, it'll select a proper set of textures based on the current weather so that you have a very realistic experience. And since it only takes a few seconds to load all your textures in, this will give you a really, really cool uh, kind of a different way to fly and you'll have a different set of textures every time you fly if you choose to do it this method. Uh, all you'd have to do is press save and then install it like before. I'm going to use my set of textures and we'll head over to the simulator. Okay guys that pretty much wraps up all of the walkthrough and basic setup uh, to get you up and running with REX4 Texture Direct. You can obviously toy around with some of the settings and get that really perfect combination that you really really like. Um, and I think you will appreciate some of the enhanced features and different uh, upgrades from the past versions of Real Environment Extreme. I'm going to leave you with a really awesome overly edited uh, compilation of different FS footage uh, with these set of textures. And I will see you guys next week.